here. I'm David Matlin, live in Tel Aviv. Now, as Israel moves to potentially annex parts of the West Bank, the Kingdom of Jordan, so tied to the Palestinian issues, finds itself in precarious political territory. Now, our Middle East correspondent Emily Rose explains. A massive conflict. That's the stark warning Jordan's King Abdullah issued if it decides to go through with plans to annex parts of the West Bank. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is pushing for annexation, but it's a move which puts the Hashemite kingdom between a rock and a hard place, torn between its crucial relations with Israel and its ties to the West Bank and the Palestinian cause. They're dependent on the status that Israel confers particularly with the United States, which is its biggest um, supporter. On the other hand, the king faces immense domestic pressure to take a stance against Israel. Jordan has historic links to the West Bank. Until 1967, the territory was part of Jordan and the majority of the Jordanian population are of Palestinian origin, forcing the ruling Hashemites to tread very carefully especially in relations with Israel, which are increasingly unpopular in the kingdom. Last year, Jordan announced the end of a lease agreement that gave Israelis access to two pieces of land, once considered a symbol of peace between the two countries. Israel relationships in Jordan are considered a domestic issue, not foreign policy issue, practically, because there are so many Palestinians. And because even those who are not Palestinians are mostly Muslims. And a series of events have caused these relations to fray. The Hashemite kingdom, whose rulers are said to be descendant from the prophet Muhammad, is the arbiter of holy sites at the Flashpoint Temple Mount complex. Recent calls from Israeli religious hardliners to assert more Jewish influence there have angered the kingdom. And a lack of progress on Israeli-Palestinian peace hasn't helped relations either. In March, Jordanian Prime Minister Omar Azaz said the ties between the countries had reached their lowest level. Now, some worry that if the Israeli government does go through with its annexation plans, the monumental peace treaty signed with Jordan 25 years ago may hang in the balance or even be cancelled altogether. Emily Rose, I-24 News. Salam. Salam.